Green Mountains mission is setting the green standard. We have had a focus since day one. Green Mountain designs, builds and operate co-location data center, all based on a green renewable energy. We are a market leader in the Nordic environment, operating all our data centers on the uniqueness of what's in Norway with, with uh, power production, green and renewable. The data center industry is a large consumer of electricity. About uh, two to five percent of the industry uh, globally is being uh, utilized by data centers. So the ability to reduce that impact as the industry is continuing to grow is of great importance. The Norwegian government was the first country that issued their own data center strategy. They would like to have more data center capacity in Norway and have that closer to where the power is actually generated. The 21st century is increasingly moving to a digital economy and data centers are a key backbone to delivering this. They're really out of sight, out of mind for most of us, but we are using them with every Zoom call, with every email. These are the factories of the digital economy. And so it's a critical question of what, where does that power come from? Companies like Facebook, who were making decisions initially that without an eye towards how are they gonna power with renewables, they then made a commitment. They were making decisions on location, location, location. So that's gonna be central to whether they'll be able to help them achieve their climate change goals. Today, not all data needs to be close to the clients. They can actually move that data to somewhere where it can get a more sustainable delivery. When I started in Green Mountain five years ago, uh, sustainability was something that was nice to have. Companies would take it if they got it, but now it is decision criteria number one or two for a lot of in the marketplace. We currently operate three data centers in Norway with an available capacity of above 115 megawatts and currently have plans for additional three sites, all of them in Norway, with an overall uh, potential of up to 850 megawatts. The history behind this site is quite unique. It was built by NATO in the mid 60s and was used to store equipment, mines and torpedoes. NATO had a focus on security. If you look at the Google Maps pictures back from 2010, you were not able to see this site on Google Maps. It was all uh, uh, removed from, from the map. And we build further on that security adding on biometric readers, uh, thermal camera, motion uh, detections. We have on-site security 24-7. One opportunity we had on this site was that the, there is a fjord on the outside. That fjord is 140 meters deep. And when we get below 75 meters, there is a constant temperature of eight degrees the whole year round. So we based our design on the cooling design on collecting that water and use that to cool the data center. So we have free cooling and that makes this data center one of the most unique and energy efficient solutions worldwide. We also have a huge focus on reuse of the waste heat from our data centers. We are the first and only uh, land-based lobster farm in the world, producing plate-sized lobsters from egg to end customer. Well, the lobster needs uh, 20 degrees Celsius in the seawater to obtain the optimum growth. Being connected to a wastewater uh, source like uh, Green Mountain, we, we will be able to scale up. It will be a frog leap for us because we can reduce the investment cost by 25-30% and also to uh, reduce the operating cost of wastewater energy. In addition, it will be uh, reducing the complexity uh, in the daily operations. 
was recirculating aquaculture system are complex technology, so we'll reduce the technical risk in the concept. So using wastewater uh, will reduce the energy consumption and make this concept even more green tech and environmentally friendly than it is today. We're also looking at multiple different uh, options for uh, heat reuse. So we've identified um, five industries out of 34, 35 that we uh, kind of analyzed in regards to how can they optimize the heat. For instance, algae production, hydroponic farming. So uh, there we could use the direct heat from the data center to pro provide optimal production environment for hydroponic farming. Then we have two other data centers in Norway, DC2 Telemark, which is something that is picking up in the high performance computing area across Europe, is located in the cradle of hydropower in Norway. So it's close to where the power is generated and have massively abundant green power available. And then we have DC3 also, which we opened back in November. It is built to suit facility for a large cloud provider. So it's a large development areas, which are all built on being able to deliver carbon neutrality. And now also it will include heat reuse options. That actually brings the data centers from not just carbon neutral, but actually climate positive. Green Mountain has developed a solution for monitoring and reporting what's happening in our data centers. The Green Peak solution is collecting data from approximately 80,000 sensors in real time. We're also using AI on those data to do capacity monitoring, do energy improvement projects, and we could advise a customer on quite easy elements to do in order to improve their energy efficiency. Both hyperscalers and key enterprises around the world have committed to achieving the sustainability targets set both by the United Nations and those which are also demanded by the regulators and by the public. These targets need actions and need actions now. And the response is being led not just by the giants of the tech industry, but almost universally across large enterprise clients who are all taking a lead on making sure they move towards a carbon neutral or even a climate positive future. This is also supported by governments and regulators who are putting in place massive incentives to fund this green shift. So I think it's about taking responsibility and it's about acting now. It's about being green versus buying green. Green Mountain's mission is setting the green standard. We have that in our DNA and we are focusing on sustainability in all work we're doing.